Yeah, hello, my lovely fans. It is another beautiful day as I welcome you to Menalize TV. As we are started with tricks in mathematics, today our tricks are going to be based on square root and then quib root. So, as you can see, we have you have to find the square root of 25. The square root of 25. So, what we have to do is we are going to add these numbers and then deduct the 2 from it. So, we have the 2 plus 5 minus the 2. So, the 2, this 2 plus the 5 minus the 2 that we have here. So, this will be 7 minus 2 and that will give us 5. 7 minus 2, that will give us 5. Which means that the square root of 25 is 5. The square root of 25 is 5. Now, let's come to the square root of 64. So what we have to do is we add the 6 plus the 4, which is going to give us 10. 6 plus 4, which is equal to 10. Then we deduct these two from it. So the 10 minus the 2 that we have here, which is the square, and that will give us 8. Which means that the square root of 64 is equal to 8. That's the third one. You have to find the square root of 196. The square root of 196. So what you have to do is the 1 plus the 9 plus the 6. 1 plus 9 plus 6. This is 10 plus 6 will give us 16. So you have the 16 minus 16 minus the 2 that we have here. And that will give us 14. So that means the square root of 196 is 14. The square root of 196 is 14. Now we have another one. Find the square root of 289. 289. This one, you are going to solve it and leave the answer for me in the comment box. You are going to solve this one. Now let's move to the quibic root or the quib root of numbers. The quib root trick or the quib root of numbers. Now, mind you, this is applicable to only some numbers. Not all numbers. It's applicable to only some numbers. That is why I say trick. Now, let's look at this. The quibic root of 216, which means which number will multiply itself three times to give you what? 216. So, what we have to do is we are going to add these numbers. So, we have the 2 plus 1 plus 6. 2 plus 1 plus 6, it will give us 9. So the 9 that we have, we are going to deduct this 3 from it. The 9 that we have, we deduct the 3 from it. So minus 3. And that will give us 6. So the 9 minus 3 will give us 6. Which means that the quibic root of 216 is equal to 6. Which means 6 times 6 times 6, which is the same as 6 squared, will give us 216. Now we come to the second one. Find the quibic root of 343. The quibic root of 343. So the same way what we have to do is 3 plus 4 plus 3. The 3 plus the 4 plus the 3, that will give us 10. So the 10 that we have, we are going to deduct this 3 from it, which is the cubic root. So minus 3, and that will give us 7. So the cubic root of 343 is equal to 7. That means 7 times 7 times 7 will give us 343. Now let's come to this one. Find the cubic root of 3375. So the same way. We are going to add these numbers. So 3 plus 3 plus 7 plus 5. 3 plus 3 plus 7 plus 5. So these two will give me 12 plus 6, which is 18. 12 plus 6 will give me 18. So we have the 18 minus the cubic root, which is the 3, and that will give me 15. 
That will give me 15, which means that 15 quib is going to give me the 3,375. So we come to the fourth one. Find the quibic root of 4,096 or 4096. 4096. Find the quibic root. And this one, you are going to solve it and give me the answer in the comment section. So let's continue on and look at this one as well. The same quibic root trick, that's the second one. So the first one, we add the numbers and then we subtract the quibic root from it. And this one, we are not going to subtract anything from it. We are going to add the numbers all right, but we are not going to subtract anything from it. So when you look at the first one, 5, 1, 2. So what we have to do is, you have to find the quibic root of 512. So we add the digit 5. So the 5 plus 1 plus 2. So 5 plus 1 will give you 6. 6 plus 2 will give us what? 8. So 8 is our final answer there, which means that the quibic root of 512 is equal to 8. Mind you, this is applicable to some numbers. Not all the numbers is applicable to what? Only some set of numbers. That's why we say what? It's trick. Now let's come to quibic root of 4913. So what we have to do is So you have the 4 plus 9 plus 1 plus 3. 4 plus 9 plus 1 plus 3. And this is going to give us 17. It's going to give us 17. So the quibic root of 4913 is the same as all, 17. That means 17 times 17 times 17 will give us 4913. Now let's come to this one, the quibic root of 5,832. Quibic root of 5,832. So the same way, we have the 5. The 5 plus 8 plus 3 plus 2. We are adding the digits 5 plus 8 plus 2. And this is going to give us 18. So 18 is our final answer there. That means 18 times 18 times 18 will give us 5,832. So 18 is the quibic root of 5,832. Now we have the fourth one. Find the quibic root of 17,576. 17,576. So this one, the same way you add 1 plus 7 plus 5 plus 7 plus 6. So you solve this and leave the answer in the comment box, uh, box for me or comment section for me. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. Remember to subscribe to this channel, Menalize TV, for more updates. Menalize TV, when the sun rises. Thank you so much.